President Trump is heading to Miami where he is expected to deliver a speech on U.S. relations with Cuba and reverse some of President Obama's policies imposing restrictions on travel and trade. And the Senate is sending a strong message to Russia, voting 98 to 2 to impose new sanctions for its meddling in the election. This as the president blasts the Russian investigation, calling it, quote, a witch hunt. Amid reports, the special counsel is examining whether he obstructed justice. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, has more details for us. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, Robin, good morning to you. News that the president himself is being investigated for possible obstruction of justice has set him off. He is on a Twitter tirade. <laughs> The president took to Twitter, lashing out at the Washington Post report that he is now the subject of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into possible obstruction of justice. The president calling it a phony story and the single greatest witch hunt in American political history led by some very bad and conflicted people. But now another twist. The Post reporting that as part of the Russia probe, Mueller is also investigating the finances and business dealings of Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law. Kushner's lawyer telling ABC News, we do not know what this report refers to. Mr. Kushner previously volunteered to share with Congress what he knows about Russia-related matters. He will do the same if he is contacted in connection with any other inquiry. Mr. President, do you believe that you are under investigation now? No comment from President Trump. Instead, he called for unity in the wake of this week's shooting. It's more important than ever to help each other, care for each other, and remind each other that we are all united. But less than five hours later, he was back on the attack this time going after Democrats and his old opponent. Why, he wrote, is that Hillary Clinton's family and Dems dealing with Russia are not looked at, but my non-dealings are. A far cry from his plea issued just hours earlier in the name of his friend Steve Scalise, that injured congressman now fighting for his life. And this morning, President Trump heads to Miami where he's expected to announce his new Cuba policy. This means rolling back a number of changes that the Obama administration had put into place. Fewer Americans will be allowed to travel to the island. If they go, David, they'll have to go as part of an organized tour group. That's a big change. And I know you'll be covering it throughout the day, Cecilia. We'll see you on World News Tonight.